Hi, John here. Um, today it's Sunday, the 4th of March 2018. Um, reporting on a apostoly for the record in Britain, UK, and New Zealand, Internal Affairs, and the British Foreign Affairs Office here to legalise the documents I'm just about to cite to you, the public of New Zealand watching and also the rest of the world watching and in particular the British Parliament and our partner, the Royal British Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. Take notice that I'm about to make this historic announcement that New Zealand country is operating a business in the Beehive, New Zealand, New Zealand, Iwi Maori Crown, trustees and the government itself running a private corporate business for its own financial investment interests against the interests of New Zealand citizens, taxpayers and paramount chiefs, commercial land owners under King George IV, King William IV and this Admiralty Trading Bank commercial flag and British Navy protectorate of our two-party partnership business with the Royal British Navy and those two kings and a third king, William III, <coughs> creator of the eight-point star on the flag in the four corners of the earth to trade free passage through the world and legalising the pound note with this apostolate that I'm about to read and legalising this flag as it was, as it still is a trading bank private contract between the Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau of Arapuni Punga Punga Marae Mangatauteri Mountain Pass site of a original First Nations Moriori chief and his contract in 1823 the year King George IV was coronated or his coronation was when this contract was made as Te Waikato the Prince he was not a king but he was a prince. I am his executor of his will and estate from that year onwards on that Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni I'll show you the photos afterwards my father-in-law Peter Mihinui and Wai Te Orarangi his wife their daughter Kataraina or Caroline Mihinui my first wife and my kids belong there. We lived there as a family unit and Peter Mihinui told me all about these stories why I've got them with me. So that was the title to New Zealand outright. Founding documents of this country in 1823 with King George the fourth and the British who landed in Hokianga Harbour at Tahike Marae and Rawene Native Court where the titles were put together that I'm holding as executor of Hori Tikuri and his father Ramika title deeds with Morris 
low baker or lobo as you call it the descendant claiming his title as the commercial landowner. I have 10 of these deed titles to transfer back into the old British title and take the mortgages off the land. That's my job. So now, that Ramika is connected to Te Rawaikato Wharehirehire Manukau in Arapuni, Waikato district. The name Waikato originates from this Waikato Manukau Moriori Paramount Chief. He's Paramount because the King made him a Paramount Chief and commercial land owner of this country, New Zealand. I'm yet to see any challenge on that title I'm holding. The deed titles for other chiefs as well that have passed on from Ngāpuhi Te Arawa, Matu Tarawa, Ngāti Whātua, Te Aseit, and Mohi Manaka. That's the equivalent of ISIS and America, Ngāti Whātua. Iwi Trust is fraudulent in its whakapapa using Tera Waikato, Paramount Chief, as a female on all its whakapapa up north and the rest of Ngātahu and Ngāti Pro and the other tribes but mainly Ngāti Whātua o Ōrake and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara was the devil in the documents they put together as a Maori land court title that's defrauded you people of New Zealand. Now you'll have to do something about it with me and to claw back claim back all that stolen wealth, land, assets that belongs to you, the people of New Zealand, the King's Common Law people. I'm holding those titles. When I get these 44 pages apostolized, it means they become the law, legalised law of New Zealand. With King William III's Westminster Parliament Acts back then, 1694 period, he created the Bank of England, the Pound Note Act, the Mines and Coins Act, the Bank of England Act and the Municipalities Act of St. Patrick's, eight point star church order to collect all the rent, the rates, the fines, the administrative costs to run his conquered land, King's Emperor's business right through the world from this native title Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. So I'm going to run through with the apostoli now before I send it through to the lawyer tonight, Sunday the 4th of March 2018. You got to see it first in the public on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, Google and other sites that are copying my site and my videos. 1,545 YouTube videos as fact cited evidence against anyone who has a title to back up against it. If you haven't got any, you never did have a title to this country and the Pacific Island and the world for that matter under the King's title commercial land ownership, jurisdiction and legal authority to rule in the King's Emperor titles. So, what I'm saying here today, I'm giving you, Jacinda Adern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, notice. On this video, I'm going to read it out, read it out to you, that you are forbidden for signing the TPPA or the P P C P T P P A eleven agreement. You're forbidden 
from signing any trade deal from this country, land, soil, without clear title to the land. You are not the commercial landowner, neither is anyone in your parliament to make decisions over this title I'm about to legalise. It should have been legalised long ago. But I'm giving you a notice now that I'm predetermining it being legal on you before the 8th, which is a Wednesday, next week, you are hereby notified that you are a threat to our national interests, national security and national investment, trading, bank interests against your own private companies, corporations, iwi, Maori Trust and your own invented tribe called Ngāti Whātua. You invented that tribe in your legacy of years right back to 1820, to the 1830 period King George IV. That's when you white people first got here legally from Britain, UK. Don't argue with me because I'm holding too much titles to these native lands and you have to refute it on YouTube video. You see my lips moving? I'm not dead. I'm very much alive making this statement to you to refute in writing like how I'm doing here before the 8th on Wednesday before you sign any TPPA agreement it is a threat of war against you with this flag is a declaration of war and state of emergency of finance against you and your finance private interests. You have no Queen seal, Queen Elizabeth seal, no Westminster Parliament seal to run a government here legally or legitimately. You have no authority over me with the coat of arms of these three kings, King William the Third, King William the Fourth, and King George the Fourth, and the three paramount chiefs, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manakao, Referefu Manakao, and Huri Tikuri. His father, Rameka, and Huri Tikuri's son, Hiramaya Tikuri, and their descendant, Morris. Low Baker. His ancestor, William B. Baker, was a magistrate at the east coast on my land blocks in that period, 1820 to 1830. In fact, 1862 period, when he was a magistrate there on my land blocks. Okay, that'll do for that. We'll go straight on to the turn the camera that way onto this apostrophe and I hope it comes out yes it's still recording oh, that's fine I've got it right on on the page I'm sure it, it would fit the page so you can read it and it starts from the top apostrophe article 7 of the Hague Convention provides for the use of a standardized authentication certificate called a OSP an apostoly and consists of the following. I'll have to get through this in a hurry before the video runs out. In any case, I'll run on to the next video. Name of the country of which the document animates, emanates New Zealand. Name of person signing the document, Hoani Kahati Wanua John, that's me, executor for Moai Moriori Manukau Trust. Moai King, Moai Crown, King William IV Trust and Moai Crown, private contract. The capacity in which the person signing the document has acted in the case of unsigned documents, the name and authority which has affixed the seal or the stamp, Morris Lowe Baker, is a direct bloodline descendant of Paramount Chief Huri Tikuri of Tahike Barai, worked in Rawini Native Land Court in Hokianga Harbour in Northland. Place of certification, Auckland. Date of certification, 2018. I'll put the date in there when we get to that with the lawyer. 
Tony Fortune from Fortune Mannings for the government uh, as a notary to sign the apostille application. The authority issuing the Certificate New Zealand Government Internal Affairs and British Foreign Affairs Britain UK. Number of the certificates to go on there. The seal or stamp of authority issuing the Certificate New Zealand Government. The stamp will go there. Signature of author authorised authority issuing certificate apostille convention D La Haye do 5 October 1961 country New Zealand. This public document of Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri claim to his British land titles boundary areas of succession, ancestral inheritance, Whakapapa, chieftainship as trustee head of his Tahiki Marae Mana Whenua title to his boundary areas designated by the Wesleyan Church, Methodist Church and British King's Emperor's title under King William IV and Moriori Paramount Chief Refref Manukau commercial land ownership private contract two-party partnership under his and Judge John Rogan British land transfer to King William IV, 11th of November 1862, which formed the basis of the New Zealand Native Land Act 1862. Blueprint title to all Indigenous countries in the world linked to the three paramount chiefs and three emperor kings of Britain, UK, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, Commonwealth countries of their British Empire states. New Zealand is a Commonwealth country of the three kings British Empire in 250 countries under our 1834 King William IV Commercial Trading Bank Private Contract Magistrate and British Imperial State Imperial State Navy Military Protectorate Paramount Chief Self Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction and Constitutional Flag of New Zealand given by King William IV on the 20th of March 1834 has been signed by Morris Lowe Baker Lobo, acting in the capacity of Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri, successor, bears the stamps, seals of Maui Crown Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Wharehere de Manukau with Bishop Thomas Kendall in a private contract sale and purchase of Aotea New Zealand, Pacific Islands country, countries to King George IV purchase agreement in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Scotland in 1823 claims to the world's indigenous British three emperor states countries Blueprint Native Land Title of Succession to King William IV New Zealand Partnership under Salic Law Oaths Forbids Woman to the Throne of Britain UK Certified at Auckland, the lawyer and the date year by Surrogate King William IV Hoani Kahaki Wainor King John, that's me, that's my name in England at the moment Witness as Executor of the Maui Moriori Manukau Trust Maui Crown Federal State 1834 Flag Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction Number Seal Stamps Go In There from the Lawyer and Me Signatures of John Wano Executor and Morris Lowe Baker Administrator Honi Kahaki Wano Facts Cited Proof of Claim Title Evidence Thursday the 1st of March 2018 Location Tahike Hokianga District Northland and Odahu District Auckland New Zealand I Hoani Kahaki Wano Swear my oath of office and allegiance to the three British King Emperors, successor King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover and Aotea, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, Commonwealth countries of the world. As these four kings' legal partner and commercial landowner of Maui, of Wānoa Royal Taisen Family, Maui Crown, memorial titles and native legal sovereign authority jurisdiction legal set up legally set up by the British Empire States three kings emperors three laws for 200 250 countries whereas I am my own competing witness legally cited Crown New Zealand the multiple courts counts of fraud and corruption of New Zealand justice system I represent and speak for King Empress these King Empress common law people of the world in 250 countries as one executor of the Maui Crown King William IV Trust in Westminster City, Britain, UK. Two, executor of the Maui Crown Memorial Trust, jurisdiction of New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Rayate Island and Rapa Nui Island, executor's office in Auckland, New Zealand. Three, executor of King William, 
Ingolium, the fourth British Crown land patent commercial landowner title derived from Rewherefa Manukau and Queen Victoria New Zealand Native Land Act 1862. 4. Executor of the Mai Pacific Island Royal Titan Family Whakapapa Native Discovery Titles. 5. Executor of the 1834 King William IV British Royal Navy Admiralty Bank Magistrate Court Declaration of War Military Protectorate Flag against third party threats against our paramount chiefs, commercial landowners, financial trading bank investment interests for our two party private contract continuity of unbroken sovereignty with the British King's Emperor's given flag. 6. Executor of the Maui Crown Powerhouse Bank. Maui Crown Pound Note Legal Money Instrument of Value against the Moriori Manukau Native Land Titles and other Native Lands that have used these Manukau Native Conveyancing Title Instrument Laws and Contracts as Mirror Image Title Transfer Mortgage Bank Loan Lien Money Security of Interest Investment Bank Statement and Transaction Recorded Memorial Land Transfer Legal Title Instruments. New Zealand and Pacific Islands, British Emperors 250 Commonwealth countries, world countries, founded under King William IV, 1834 Declaration of War Trading Bank flag, sovereign authority, jurisdiction, legally transferring native titles under the three King Emperors Convincing Land Title Mortgage Lien Instrument of British King's Admiralty Magistrate Court Legal Authority Act and jurisdiction to the three paramount chiefs, native landlords, commercial landowners, private contract titles. Cited. These three kings and three paramount chiefs, commercial contract landowners, asset wealth land banks succeeded, inherited, administered globally by these corporate and private companies' chief commander, me, as its executor, Hoani Kaaki Wano, John, appointed by the chiefs for shareholders and beneficiaries of 1. My Crown King William IV Trust, 2. My Crown, 3. My Crown Moriori Manukau Trust, 4. Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited Registered Company in New Zealand, private company. 5. Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Registered Company in London, UK, pending new name. 6. Moai Crown Federal State Government of the World under King William IV, Declaration of War Flag. 7. Seven. Sorry, King William the third private contract. Private contract with St. Patrick's Church Order, eight point star flag of King William the Fourth, eighteen thirty four Commercial Trading Bank Flag Municipalities Act Laws Ordinances created by King William the Third, Belfast, Northern Ireland. Britain, UK, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Flag. Created Will 3, Bank of England Act 1694, Power Note Act 1694, Coins and Mint Act 1694. Cited, that was William, King William III. Cited, the Acts of Westminster King William III, King William IV, and King George IV were legally enforced into Maui Crown Federal State Government Imperial Laws of King William IV, 1834 Flag. State of Emergency Declaration of War on all third-party pirates operating illegally on the high seas as commercial operators acting illegally occupy native lease lands with threats against our paramount chiefs' native ancestors' lands, now enforcing our three Emperor's Kings and multi-court martial laws over the Moriori Manukau native lands seized of into our custody. Cited. These British New Zealand lease lands are protected by Emperor King William IV Crown land patents jointly in the 1834 Declaration of War Trading Bank Military Protectorate flag of a genuine binding commercial contractor business partnership between King George IV and Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Whare Rehere Manukau of Cambridge, New Zealand District, legally owns New Zealand paper title instruments under the British title system of land occupation leases. New Zealand Crown, Iwi Maori are still trying to settle with no title shall terminate. Cited. Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau remains leg legitimate landowner leasee of New Zealand native land title deeds transferred to his ancestor Arewhera for Manukau, private contract with King William IV flag flying on Mount Eden Borough Council building flying on any Maui Crown State Government ma Marae 
native magistrate court in New Zealand promoting the three British kings, empress, government buildings as a commercial trading bank flag, authority of King William III, St. Patrick Church, order eight point star, representing New Zealand borough council, council buildings, municipalities as collection agencies for the three kings conquered lease certificates of title instrument for lands, rents, debt, administrative costs. Cited. These three emperor kings legislated the whakapapa of these three paramount chiefs, Te Rewakato Wharehere in Manukau and Pohara Pungapunga Marae on Cambridge in 1820 to 1830, King George IV private contract with his descendant Reflef Manukau on his Manukau Marae in Waiuku in 1830 to 1870, King William IV private contract with Hori Tikuri on his Taheke Marae in Hokianga as commercial landowners of legal native title, land title holders transferred to their blood descendants. Cited, the legal successor, successors to these three paramount chief names are here. Morris Lobaker of Taike for Hori Tikuri and Hoani Kahakiwano, Chief Ueta successor Marangaro Marai, Waiupu, Matakawa District, Hoani Kahakiwano, let me, of Auckland, New Zealand for Te Rewakato Wharehehe Manukau, and Reverefa Manukau, Reverefa Manukau signed the native land transfer title documents of these three paramount chiefs from their respective deed title, commercial contract, land ownership titles registered on these marais in Te Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court on the 20th of September 2017, again on this marae, cited Friday 11th of November 2017, historic annual events, Reverefa Salem Purchase, Uetaha, Pukekohe District through John Rogan to King William IV British Crown Land Patent Office through Queen Victoria who was King William IV niece in Westminster Parliament. Cited. This Pukekohe land was transferred through Queen Victoria Land Conveyance Agent John Rogan in the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville, Kaipara Harbour to King William IV title creator of the legal instruments for New Zealand native lands. Cited. Reference formed the New Zealand Native Lands Act 1862 merit through the Native Land Title Transfers precedent case, cases in New Zealand blueprint pattern for all other British Crown Emperors conquered Native Indigenous countries land titles. We presume legally established in 2018 for up to 250 countries of the world consolidated to the three kings, emperors and three paramount chiefs land sovereign authority jurisdictions legal land title transfers as administrators of the Maui Crown King William IV Crown Trust State Private Contract Business cited. Maui Crown King William IV Trust controls administration of stolen commercial property land transferred to Maui Crown Financial Investment Bank Mortgage Ford Legal Instruments for debt recovery against the New Zealand Crown Corporate Trust before they signed the TPPA 11 states agreement without a legitimate legal clear incumbent native land titles. Cited, my Crown Federal State private companies investigates corrupted businesses, seizes trading banks, interest in foreign banks, loans, security interests, investment properties, assets forfeited into the King's Royal Revenue Bank and Native Magistrate Court creditors accounts. Cited, these are judgment debtor criminal fraud accounts owed to our three paramount chiefs my Crown King William IV Trust, King William IV, 1834 Flag State Commercial Business, defaulted private contract against individuals named offences, offenders as judgment debtors, accounts, receipt, credit to my Crown Federal State Government World Debt Recovery Trade Business. Cited to trade legally in 250 countries from these three British Emperor's private commercial contract agreements through land transfer title instruments. Willing seller, Paramount Chief Reverend from Manukau for New Zealand, Pacific Islands, Native Moriori, Manukau, Native Lands. Cited. On 11th of November 1862, Reverend Manukau, Chief of his Manukau Marae in Waiuku, South Manukau Harbour, sold his Pukekohe Uetawa land, district land, to King William IV through Queen Victoria under these three Emperor Kings conquered land CT commercial titles. 1. Cited. Reverefa sold his Pupunga Manukau Marae land in Cornwallis, North Head, Manukau Harbour and his Manukau Marae land in his Manukau Awaroa Native Court 10 acre land block in Helensville, Kaipara Harbour, New Zealand to King William IV King 
through John Rogan, British Crown Land Convention Agent in Aurora Bank Native Court in Helenville. We conducted a Maui Crown Moriori Manukau Trust Executive Court hearing in Te Unawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court in on Referef Manukau land in Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand, citing New Zealand province as our proof fact cited evidence. Our executive re-established, reasserted title on the 15th of April 2016 in Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court hearing against Prime Minister John Key, then of the National Government Bank Fraud Criminal and the 77 Cook Street land title property fraud landowners Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown accused them as criminal fraudsters in a two-party private defaulted contract with them to seize the lands back off them immediately. 2. Cited. I hold the original Moriori Manukau native titles, land titles as the surrogate King George IV private contract executor of the Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau wealth inheritance to the Moriori, Punga Punga, Hapu, Maungatauturi Mountain people of his Punga Punga Marae Moriori Punga Punga Memorial Stone Rock Spirit title mana of Te Rewaikato over Arapuni, Cambridge District, Waikato Region, New Zealand. My father-in-law, Peter Mihinui Homestead, sits next to his Punga Punga Memorial Stone Rock on his marae having lived here, there, with my family in 1973 to 1978 period. Stories he shared with me held to, till this day, his land shall return to his Moriori chief, Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau, Punga Punga, Punga Marae Hapu, off the offence of Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's Tainui Trust. They fabricated the Te Rewaikato name as a female whakapapa of Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Crown Pākehā Whakapapa fake tribe title. Cited. Surrogate King William the Fourth private contract with Ref Ref Manukau, Paramount Chief of the Province of Auckland, stretches from Cape Ranga to South Taupo boundary claim back his land title from Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori tribes titles. On the Sea of Admiralty, Maori land court Whakapapa stolen from Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Whare Hirehere Manukau of Mangatotu Mountain and his descendant Ref Ref Manukau of Epsom, Auckland and of Aorua in Helensville. 4. Cited. New Zealand Crown Iwi Maori trustees are liable for the corrupted Moriori Manukau Whakapapa in New Zealand Native Magistrate Courts. There's 12 of them. I've opened. Tampered. They have tampered with the Manukau British Commercial Trading Bank land title transfer transaction instruments under the King William IV British Private Contract 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency flag, flag Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction Military Protectorate UK British Royal Navy Crown. Our partners. Cited 5. My fact cited statement evidence of my Crown Federal State Flag Sovereign Authority jurisdiction links me to Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere here in Manukau on his Punga Punga Marae and Hapu Chiefs of my father-in-law Peter Mihinui on his ancestral lands. 6. Cited. The Punga Punga Waikaro Memorial Spirit Rock of his Mangatotri Mountain Pass site is the British native commercial land ownership title over the Waikato River Moriori Tribal Hapu area. 7. Cited holds the mana over New Zealand over the, his traditional native land title inheritance within the Cambridge County District. So oh, here's the phone boy. I'll leave it. I'll leave it for after. I'll finish I'll finish this video first. Cited. Eight. The Punga Punga Marae Hapu First Nations people, original successor Peter Mihinui, Mihinui, uh, Mihinui of Pohara, Punga Punga Marae, Arapuni, Cambridge District, Waikato Region titles, is in a private contract with me, his British land title deeds, commercial landowners contract executor. Te Rewaikato Whareherere Manukau, Mangatauturi Mountain Pa, title to New Zealand. That's it there, that's Mangatauturi Mountain, and to the left down here is this Marae and the rock. This is all rock, and that rock here, that you can see, and his house was beside the rock, and they've stuck that house over there, but he was closer to the rock than that house that's there. That's the marae here. They changed the name to Rangiatea from Punga Punga Marae, and put Puhara Marae on their books, 
but Rangiakea on the Marae to Tahiri. This is a Moriori Marae, and they've changed the whole title to Tahitian. That's the offence. And this is the rock here. This is the memorial to this whole country in New Zealand, as that rock and the Moai statue in Dunedin with the hat on his head is the crown. Okay, the top picture, Mangatoti Mountain Pass, South Arapuni, Waikato River, District, Pohara, Pungapunga Marae Rock. Okay, so that's the title there to New Zealand people. I'm making this site fact evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London and in our native magistrate courts. There's 12 of them in New Zealand. Pungapunga Moriori Hapu Memorial Rock of Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manika of Cambridge, New Zealand. Here he is, Te Rewaikato, standing right here. British King's New Zealand Moriori Spirit Rock Memorial title. That's it there. That's the marae, the Pungapunga marae that's been changed to Rangiatea. That's Tahiri. The Crown, Iwi, Crown Authorities, Trustees, and the government created this Ngāti Whātua tribe, like the ISIS of America, is this Ngāti Whātua offensive tribe that stole this chief's title, and that's the offence. This is what I'm claiming back through the British to seize all their titles. Oni Kahiki Wano, son in law Peter and Wai Mihinui, Wai Te Orarangi Mihinui, homestead on his ancestors' marae, paramount chief executor. Maui Crown Rock Memorial, Pungapunga Moriori Manukau Trust. Declaration of War on New Zealand Crown Third Party Financial Threats Against the Maui Crown. There's Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand, New Zealand First Party, and Jacinda Dern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Dern, Deputy Winston Peters, TPPA 2 is a threat of treason against us. I'm making this notice to them, it's forbidden to sign the TPPA, Progressive PP, TPPA Agreement with those 10 other countries. It's not your country title. You have no title to this country. I'm holding it. So unless you produce a title to me, then you're a threat and the British are our partners on this land. We have the title and you are selling it off and you have no right to do that. We forbid you. We have the legal right to arrest you, charge for treason before you sign the TPPA 2 deal. And there's King George there and King William IV there and the regulations on this default contract and what they're doing at the moment is forgery of titles. ID theft of personality and and tribe. Whakapapa. Te Rewaikato Whakapapa has been stolen. This is our partner, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, Royal British Navy, our legal partner to all these documents that I'm expecting them to sign. This is the offender, Natalie Flower Dew Brown from CIB, Auckland Central Police Station, lost the case against me. And these owners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree at the bottom, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, and you've got a trillion pound bond on your head, your birth certificate, seized by us, and also 970 million trillion trillion pound note against your head. Here I am as the King William the Fourth, King William the Third, and King George the Fourth coat of arms, the flag, and the coat of arms of Rogan, judges and. Cosgrove lawyers from Northern Ireland, Belfast, where the Eight Point Star St. Patrick is buried. That's our title. That's my title there. And the Moai standing in London, that's my title. He's standing in France, that's my title. He's standing in Brussels, that's my title. And he's standing in New York and Washington, D.C., that's my title. To all of this flag here on Whitingley Treaty Grounds, dry land flag given by the King through Queen Victoria. That's my title to authorise all these contracts. That's a contract flag, private contract. It's nothing to do with Maoris. It's nothing to do with the government of New Zealand. Nothing to do with Maori government. It's nothing to do with Whakameninga. It's a contract with this man here, between this man, King George IV, and this man, 
Tera Waikato, Wharehirehire Manukau and this rock memorial title and this Marae Native Magistrate Court here I'm opening up very soon. The 13th Marae I'm opening up straight to Britain and King William IV gave us this flag and our reigning monarch is Ernest Augustus, the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Aotea, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and 250 countries of the world under this flag of legal authority right here. On dry land you don't need a dock or a bar association in the Marae. And this government, if they're playing around with their title, they're in real trouble as treason and likely hanging. We claim to hold the commercial land ownership British title to New Zealand country. While you have no seal of Westminster, I'm talking to Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, you have no seal of Westminster Parliament, no seal of Queen Elizabeth II, Crown Coronation, or Crown Coronation, no clear title to New Zealand country, to be making deals with 10 other country states, we state clearly you are committing grand treason, singly as liable in your own capacity of a legal legacy of fraud and corruption, we forbid you to sign any trade deal with any country without refuting our paramount chief's title to which your failure to respond shall constitute the use of our King William IV 1834 flag declaration of war against you singled out bounty on your natural names and surnames heads and that of your part as a corporate pirate person accessory, accessory to the corrupted John Key Panama Papers and Scam Fraud Paradise Papers Fraud Clinton Foundation Fraud and and legacy of fraud committed by other corrupted practices, corrupted practices in your New Zealand Crown Corporation's trust involving your invented Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Crown Corporate Trust business. We prove beyond a doubt manufactured by your New South Wales New Zealand Crown Corporate Government for your own private commercial trading bank financial investment interests. I claim you defrauded the public of New Zealand and three paramount chiefs, commercial landowners, two party, three kings, emperors, partnership, financial, land bank, trade, investment interests. We have the legal right to arrest you, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Queen Elizabeth II, Governor General of New Zealand, Patsy Reddy, Chief Justice Sean Elias, Attorney General Chris Reynolds, and any other Crown corporate corporation agents linked to the scam Iwi Maori Crown Ngāti Whātua Trust, tribe invent, invented by your Maori and Iwi patented names, Whakapapa fraud tribe, to deceive the public of New Zealand, made money from the fraud operation. I have caught you all out, reported to the British Royal Navy, military for record, you are committing treason and cited offences below. Cited. The unconstitutional government, colonial government, committed these crimes acts, crimes by all New Zealand judicial enforcement agencies listed below, thereof a direct threat upon our Maui Crown Federal State British dual nation King's flag state government commercial ownership trading bank flag sovereign authority financial investment security and economic land development interests for your own foreign private commercial bank security of investment interests the original British native land title contract means remains with Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau of Maungaturtuli Mountain in Cambridge on his Pungapunga Morai Rock Memorial to his Pungapunga Hapu of his Waikato Tribes Sale and Purchase Agreement with King George IV for his New Zealand country land deal to the Three Kings Emperors King George IV in 1823 the transfer of land estate lands to his brother King William IV under his 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency Trading Bank Creditors Flag Sovereign Authority Law Jurisdiction. The legal right of the Maori Crown King William IV Trust to seize back the native paramount chiefs New Zealand Pacific Islands ancestral inheritance lands. As a consequence of criminal offences listed here and committed by the pretend government of New South Wales and New Zealand linked to the Iwi Maori Crown Corporations, their private stolen land by Crown agents Rothschild Banks, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II monarchs, church and state royal families. Third party manipulation and tampering of our Paramount Chiefs two party partnership private contract. King William III, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Municipalities Act 1694, Bank of England Act 1694, and Power Note Act 1694, Coins Mints Act 1694, Creditors Act 1694, 
King William IV, 1834, Declaration of War, Commercial Trading Bank, British Military Protectorate, King's Emperor's Ruling Authority, 8 Point Star of St. Patrick's Church of Belfast, Northern Ireland, UK, for King's Royal Revenues Collection of Ground Lease Rents, Land Rents, Rates, Fines, Administration of the Three Kings Conquered, and or Sea Lands of Seas lands of pirates on the high seas of Admiralty back into the kings, three kings and three paramount chiefs possession by defaulted contracts or acts of war. Threat of bank investment, corruption and fraud against Crown Port Corporation's agents, the present paramount chiefs named the law-breaking offenders on the social media and or directly notified in person at their business address or family home as served. Not Affected, not affected by the Limitation Act of the time of offence to time of conviction is closed in our Three Chiefs, Three Kings private contract. Cited. These are criminal, criminal acts perpetrated, per, perpetrated by the unconstitutional New South Wales, Australia and New Zealand government and all the judicial enforcement agency thereof upon the people of this nation, state, country and its counterpart Australian people include but not limited to the following. Treason. These are the offences of this New Zealand government and legacy of fraud and corruption of the justice system of New Zealand. Jacinda Ardern, hereby you are notified of your offences. To answer within three days or 72 hours or cut down to 24 hours before Wednesday, the 8th um, and Tuesday. I'm giving you till Tuesday, 4pm Tuesday to refute what I'm saying here against you. You are, um, I'm accusing you of treason, economic terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiracy to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation, crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful seizure of lands and possession, TPPA threat on our Pacific states seabed titles and land titles, Queen Elizabeth II conflict of interest, third party interests. Cited as from 0001 hours on this 28th day of June 2002, our paramount chiefs of Aotearoa New Zealand and Pacific Islands, my Crown Native Government Nation, was at war with New Zealand Crown Corporations. We, the paramount chiefs' successors, swear our oath to the three kings, King William III, King William IV, King George IV, and three paramount chiefs, Te Rawakato, Wharehere in Manukau, Lewhere in Manukau, and Horitikuri of Taheke, New South Wales, and New Zealand, Iwi Maori, Crown, Ngāti Whātua, corrupted the whakapapa of paramount chief, Te Rawakato, Wharehere in Manukau, on his pōhara, pūpunga, pūngapunga, marae, and his mangatauteri pā. Cited, Te Rawakato named as is used in Ngāti Whātua, Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's fraud manufactured whakapapa as a woman and wife of first husband Mahanga and second husband Ripido for the fabricated Iwi Maori 1840 Treaty of Waitangi native title CT land titles claims the Mac Crown New Zealand, not British Crown. We expect to hold your Crown Corporation's Queen Elizabeth II Iwi Maori fraudsters in a grand theft land title fraud trial if you fail to refute this publicly notified claim against all your parliaments as pirate fraud thugs and Maori land court. Cited New Zealand, New South Wales Crown Ngāti Whātua Trust Iwi created to defraud the paramount chiefs and citizens of New Zealand using the stolen identity male line dominant paramount chief Te Waikato as a female wife of two Ngāti Whātua Iwi chiefs Mahanga and Ripito. These are the Whakapapas, I won't go through them, but they're there. Here, right here, Te Waikato as a woman, and Mahanga as a first T, Tane, is a man, one, Ripiro, T, two, Tane, male, two, husband. And then it breaks down to Te Waikato here, as a woman, and Mahanga and his Whakapapa down, and Ripiro's Whakapapa right through all the tribes up north in the treaty claims are cited. This proves the stolen Punga Punga Hapu Whakapapa of Paramount Tirawakato Whareherehe the Manukau of Chief's first name and his Whakapapa, Whakapapa were compromised illegally and unlawfully by Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's private interest businesses for their self-interest and not the security investment interests of all New Zealanders 
Hence our legal authority reason to seize back his name, his titles and whakapapa back to the Moriori Pungapunga Hapu First Nations native inhabitants, Moriori. This one native chief signed a commercial land ownership title transfer of New Zealand native country to King George IV in 1823 period of reign, 1820-1830, under the British Crown Emperor's land patent, creator of security investment interests, instruments using land to borrow money from the Three Kings Bank of England, the Acts of King William III, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star that we carry on our King William IV commercial contract flag in a private two-party partnership private contract of Admiralty Magistrate Court military protection of our new business in continuity of sovereignty King's contracts in the old business. The Attorney General Christopher Finnison in New Zealand is the Crown Corporation's trust master of the corrupted 1840 Treaty of Waitangi settlements that he is paying out 1% treaty settlements to a bogus fake Iwi Maori Crown Ngāti Whātua tribe we cite here as Tera Waikato Woman Whakapapa, the catalyst of fraud land title claims fabricated to claim a male bloodline paramount chief's titles from Britain, UK, is grand theft charges we hold against all the treaty claimant New Zealand Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Crown land contractors who use these corrupted New South Wales New Zealand Crown invented Whakapapa illegal instruments as land claim settlements are now third party to a two party partnership title holder of New Zealand country as the subject of direct action by the First Party, British Crown, Royal Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones and me, New Zealand, First Nations Native Land Title Holder and Executor, Surrogate King Executor, myself, Hwani Kahi Yuhanoa, John, shall settle out and call up the accounts of the Queen Victoria Trust, Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Trust, Intuition New Zealand Trust, Waitangi National Trust, New Zealand New South Wales Crown Corporations Trust, TPPA 11, country state corporations business and trust or all, uh, all affiliated to this Nati Fatua trust fraud corrupted business. My Crown King William IV Trust enforce a state of emergency declaration of war on these pirates on the high seas, shall seize back the King's Empress titles over the lands and assets these pirates have accumulated in wealth through criminal bank fraud land transfer instruments we now seek to legally claim as real threats of grand treasons, fraud and corruption of the justice system of New Zealand, practice over other affected countries of the globe defrauded with the same corrupted bank instruments. There goes the whakapapa of all the other tribes. My Crown, King William IV Trust, cites the creators of this fraud Waikato whakapapa by these Iwi Maori corporations of the Queen's Maori people is nothing short of generations of stolen wealth, land and natural resources wrecked families and their right to the stolen wealth going on to an elite family of pirate thugs within the New Zealand Crown system of corrupted courts, judges, lawyers, politicians, church ministers who have usurped all the hard work put together by the Paramount Chiefs and King's Common Law, law families snatched by the Rothschild Banks, Maori and their Queen Elizabeth II fake coronation seals and have no legal authority in New Zealand but piracy acting on the high seas. Recently, on the Waitangi 6th of February 2018, the Maori Whakameninga Chiefs made their interpretation of the same King William IV flag as the flag on the sea. Claims their jurisdiction is somewhere between New Zealand and Australia. Cannot explain in real how the King of Britain UK managed to give Maori and their present Whakameninga Chiefs the legal right to use this commercial private contract flag on the sea, as they describe it to be really has no legal effect than a flag illusion assumption of self-Maori government sovereignty with commercial title missing in the flag. I joined the Whakamininga in 2003, just before the New Zealand Force and Seabed Act 2004 was passed under the Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Crown Corporations invented to defraud the public of New Zealand into the false whakapapa riddle in fraud you see right here before your eyes, burden of proof of silence, ignorance, failed jurisdiction of legal authority against an incumbent Maori Maori Crown King creditors, King's Bench, Native Magistrate Court, Law Enforcement, Legal Authority, jurisdiction as commercial bank creditors, commercial landowners, right to bill debtor, charge any man, woman or child or chief on New Zealand soil land for fraud crimes. The Act of King William III, King George IV and King William IV shall apply in these citations. Cited, Ngāti Whātua Iwi Maori Trust created the offensive fraud whakapapa. These Iwi Maori Crown Corporate Pirates have failed to refute the claims I made. 
against them defaulted into a British King's commercial private contract under King William IV, 1834 declaration of war flag sovereign authority jurisdictions against each individual offender named as criminal forces as inescapable trial by media. Admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London, UK, in New Zealand as discovered title information that offenders are silent admission of guilty plea as a lack of evidence to win any case. Cited. Natifatu Iwi Maori Trust Corporate Private Company and Maori Whakapapa Land Titles, Land Court Titles invented by the New South Wales New Zealand Crown Government, manipulation of our stolen Te Rewaikato Whareherehe Te Manukau, Paramount Chiefs Hapu Whakapapa. My Crown Federal State Flag Government UK New Zealand cited Te Rewaikato as a woman in the offensive Natifatu Trust Whakapapa exposed above Invented by its owner, New South Wales New Zealand Queen, the second Crown Corporation criminal fraudster and Rothschild Bank elite families facing Maui Powerhouse Bank 970 million trillion trillion pound note, Great Britain pound note equivalent value in gold bullion, water money currency pound note value judgment debtor instrument and bounty of one trillion pound note on their heads. The certificate that is, the offending corrupted fraud. Te Runga or Runanga or Ngāti Whātua Whakapapa was created by the New South Wales and New Zealand Crown legal patent name owners of the words Māori and Iwi created for their Māori land court land transfer titles corrupted meaning fraud and corrupted CT land titles is a punishable offence. Offense. Cited Te Ōtetene Kiko Kiko, a native Ngāti Whātua chief stated in 1869 before the native land court on title investigation of Rua Rangi He Haere, cited one branch of my Maori people were called Ngāti Whātua, the ancestors of Te Tau, ancestors of Te Tau distinct from the Ngāti Whātua foreign tribes would call us all Ngāti Whātua, but we ourselves know this distinction, 93, cited, although there is no doubt that the present Ngāti Whātua coalition as represented by the Runanga or Ngāti Whātua is as much a tribal confederation as are Hauraki, Tainui, Te Rārua, Te Awa, Ngāti Pui, Ngāpui and 54 others that position is not reflected in Te Runga, Runanga or Ngāti Whātua Act 1988 which refers to the confederation as a single tribe and includes, objective of, and includes the objective of bringing the assets of its members under a single centralised control. Cited. According in, in, in the view of this Witness Act, the Act which also confines Runanga membership to descendants of Tupuna Homaiwe Rangi, does not reflect the realities of the Ngāti Whātua Confederation. Cited. If the Act was intended to deal with the interests of Ngāti Whātua Tuturu, membership should have been confined to the descendants of Koe Koe, Koe Oe, rather than, rather than Homaiwe Rangi. Cited. The latter, in the event, is much more widely recognised as the Tupuna of Te Uriya Aho. Cited current Ngā Te Whātua, Runanga membership criteria would suggest that the Runanga backs, lacks the statutory mandate to speak and act for the Kaipara Iwi of Te Tau and Te Kaurau, as well of the following Northern Wairo and Kaihu Iwi who generally do not whakapapa to Homai Warangi. Cited Te Rorua, Te Rarawa, Ripia, Nomai and Kapehu, Marais, Northern Wairo and Tama Te Ua, Ua, Marae, Kaihu, Ngāpuhi, Oture and Taita Marais, Northern Wairo and Te, te Ati Awa, Te Ahi, Kiwi, Marae, Northern Wairo on descent grounds. Most members of the above tribe Marais enrolled with Ngāti Whātua Runanga appear to lack a legal basis for that enrolment. Cited by resolving at its Runanga Hopo, Hui, of 23rd February 1993 to proceed with the ruling elections without requiring proof of descent from Tupuna Homoai Rangi, the Arunanga may have demonstrated lack of commitment to resolving that problem. Cited 94. To all accounts, the above confusion was not conveyed to the Waitangi Tribunal on the Railways Act case Y264. Cited the projection, projection in these proceedings of Ngāti as a single tribe rather than a loose confederation of tribes must be encouraged. Encouraged, must have encouraged the tribal view of some tribal overwrite in the Auckland District Tribunal Decision 5, exercisable by Ngāti Whātua Runanga. 
cited as yet John White in his Maori customs and superstitious lectures of 1861 was adamant that historically not far to alias Ngai Oho, Ngai Oho Key Auckland retained the exclusive and independent authority over all their conquered Auckland lands permitted no interference.